Hey guys, <laughs> your girl, it's your girl. Um, and look, your girl got on a sweater. I got on, like, I went in the closet and pulled out work clothes, girl. Like, when I used to work for the doctor, and I used to work for that insurance company. Like, I, I got on real clothes. Mm. And you're like, girl, what are you dressed for? Because, you know, I wear, I wear t-shirts and sweatpants every single day. And if it ain't that, I'm in pajamas. And my pajamas are usually sweatpants and a t-shirt, too. I'm sitting here in the parking lot of Elizabeth School because I'm going to be the surprise secret reader for the day. <laughs> I'm the secret reader. Um, I was supposed to do it in January, but um, I was like, can I do it in December? I don't know if she's still going to want me doing it in, in January as well. But um, I said, let me just do it now because my mom's not work today. So she got Kooby Scooby. This is magical, you know? And I got to be there at noon. And I got about 10 minutes. So I, I figured I would sit here and talk with you guys. Hmm. And I wanted to be here a little earlier so I could I could do some talking about, I said the next thing I was going to talk about um, for the, the next topic is going to be, can you live with someone and foster? So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this real quick because someone did say that they would like the vlogs to be either as long as the as the fostering part or longer than the fostering part. So and I, I wrote to her and I said, I, I promise that I'm going to make them, I'm going to make the vlog part lo longer and I will do that. So I'm going to make this part shorter because it's not that long. Um, and plus, I don't have much time to talk to y'all because I got to go inside her school. I'm in the parking lot at her school. OK, so let's see. Can you live with someone? and still foster and the answer is yes you can and then i could end it right there bye <laughs> it's like i'm just playing but there's a little bit more to that okay you know how you have to go through the classes and you have to be cpr trained and you got to go through the home study and you got to go through this and do that and boom 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 they do have to go through fingerprinting and background check and if and if something comes up fuzzy with that you know fuzzy mm -hmm, some don't come up right that can mess up your whole thing. Not can, it will mess up your whole thing. So there's either going to be two things. You got to kick that person out of your house or um, you can't do it at all. I feel like if if something comes up, I'm putting on lotion, girl, because you know you're going to be ash. Um, I, I feel like if uh, something comes up wrong, like criminally, like really bad, I have a feeling that they're, they're just, even if you kick that person out, I really have a feeling that they are going to um, decline you because they're not going to be able to prove that you stopped dating them. You can prove that they don't live there anymore because they're going to go through your house, make sure that um, there's no more of their things in the house. So you can prove they don't live with you anymore, but you can't prove that they're out of your life, you know? So I think you might completely lose the whole situation if you have like a complete criminal for a person that you're in a relationship with, which I feel nobody should be in a relationship with a criminal, but I can't tell you who to date and who to mess with, but that can really mess you up. Um, my mom used to live downstairs from me when we lived in the old house. Someone said, did she live with you back then? Technically, we didn't live together. It's kind of like, it's kind of like if you live in an apartment does the person that live two doors down live with you? No, you guys just all live in the same building in a different unit. So it's kind of like that. It was a multifamily home. My mom lived in the unit downstairs. I lived in the unit upstairs. So we technically lived under the same structure, but it was different units. So it was like our own personal size apartment building. And she lived downstairs. I lived upstairs. Now, technically, she did not have to go through anything because she wasn't a foster parent and she didn't live with me. So she didn't have to go through anything technically. But the reason why she had to go through the background check and the fingerprinting is because I was going to use her. Well, I did use her as my babysitter. And you're like, babysitter? But she's a grandma. At the time, she wasn't the grandma. So when I when I was working at night, I needed someone to, to have them at nighttime. So she watched them all the way through the night. She would come up to my place and stay there. Um, and so that, she had to be background checked because they wanted to know who the kids are being with, you know? So that's why she had to do the background check and she had to do the fingerprinting. And of course she cleared, obviously. Let, oh, let's say you have a child that's over 18 that lives with you, that kid's gonna get background checked as well. So it's anyone over the age of 18, it's gonna be background checked. So let's say you have a child that's that's doing some bad things. They, they their life is a little is a, is a little dusty right now. 
they're gonna check that and if and if it's and if that child is in trouble for things that they don't like like the speeding tickets you know um not paying parking tickets mm. but if it's some bad things like like larceny uh abuse you know like fighting you know drunk driving you know you're gonna lose sweetie you're gonna kick your kid out of the house so you can go get another kid like come on now you're gonna you're gonna lose you're gonna lose the the whole process of becoming a foster parent so they're gonna check anyone that 18 and older that lives with you now let's say no one lives with you but you need someone to watch your child during the day or at nighttime and it's not a daycare provider it's a family member friend you know it's someone that's in your life they're gonna fingerprint and um, they're gonna fingerprint and background check that person as well so basically in a nutshell I don't want this video to be too long because it shouldn't really be that long but in a nutshell, if there's anyone in your life, whether living under your roof or someone that you're going to use to babysit your foster child, they are going to be checked. And if they do not clear, if they live under your roof, that can mess up your entire process of becoming a foster parent. And if they do not live under your roof and you're going to use them as a babysitter, they're going to tell you, no, you can't do that. Now, that may not that may not mess up your, your process because they don't live with you. But um, I think that's it. So, like I always said, there is a, um, boom, boom, boom. There's a link to the website, the national website, as well as a 1-800 number to the national website that you can click on or call, let them know what your state is, and they will give you all the information of who to contact to get more state, um, to get more state-specific information, you know? But I am more than happy and more than willing to reply to you guys in the comment section. I love replying, and if I don't reply right away, it could be because I'm sleeping. You know, because sometimes I put these videos up at nighttime and I'll stay up for like an hour or two replying and then I go to sleep. And then you'll hear from me hours later because I woke up, you know, and I have time. My child is either doing some of his work, he eating, he's taking a nap, you know. Um, but, yep, look down in the description box for all the information that you need. If if you look down in the description box and you still need more information, just leave a comment. Um, and so now the vlogs will start. Let's see, I only talk for eight minutes. It's not a 30-minute talking session, but the rest is going to be a vlog. First, we're going to rewind back. We're going to rewind back to, um, to yesterday. We were at Target, and it was cute. We were at Target. So while I'm in here reading a book, I was about to say books. No, it's one book, baby, one book. So while I'm in here reading a book, uh, I'm going to show you yesterday. And then when I come out, we will continue the vlog for the rest of the day. So I love you guys. See you in the next video. Bye. You know it ain't a holding vlog without Target. Boom. Good job, girlfriend. Target. Go that way. Target. Daddy, look, you got to scoff him. <laughs> I got him. Without his flip. Team. Look, he ain't got his flip. He was fighting with the pillow at nap time. Guys, peace yes. out. Yes. Yes. Peace. Yes. Yes. Guys, what? Wait. Walk fast and be alright. Okay, Eddie wanna sing y'all a song. Break it down. On a regular day. On a regular I'm day. When I'm a teenager. When I'm a I'm teenager. Gonna get that dog, 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 yes. Dog. Get yeah, it. Get that, that dog. dog, dog and dog. when people come in the house, see they're gonna write. I want You it, want it. That's what I'm talking about. Break it down. I uh -huh. want the body. Yep. Guys, I'm good at this game. I am. He is really good with this, y'all. Like, extremely good. Okay, turn it on. Uh -oh, you gotta turn it on. Show him what you got. Okay. What you got? Uh huh. But don't look at me. What's your pattern? Good job. What's your pattern? Come on, go for it. They did one more. There you go. What's your pattern? Oh, you had to do one more yellow. But he is good, y'all. He is really good. And look how old you're supposed to be to start it. You're supposed to be eight years old. Now we have the things that I need. I need red. Let's get a good red one. Oh, and guys, do you know? I'm good at this, so mommy can buy it. <laughs> but I keep making accidents, but it's still good. You still good? He said, I keep making accidents. And, You're doing really good. See? Good at buy it. Oh, yeah. We're back home, y'all. Woo! Woo! 
Ooh, and this is what Nana bought. She bought this to add to the family collection. Hey, to the family collection called Mission X Code. And then she got this for Lizzie. Guess who? Guess who? Woo. And Eddie's in the room. They clean up a little bit and then he's gonna play his Simon. He is crunk. Hey guys, I am back <laughs> and I read to her class. <laughs> it was so funny. I tried to record a little bit, like not me reading to them, but recording like her, her reaction because she didn't know. because some of the kids were coughing and I think they were coughing because of my perfume for some reason okay I spray perfume on my t-shirt because I wear t-shirts all the time and sweatshirts and it doesn't stick like heavy but I sprayed it on a sweater today and it's sticking like it's I can smell it strong and the perfume I use is uh, Chanel Mademoiselle and so it's a very mature scent like it smells like an old lady like not like an old lady but an older woman i love it but on a sweater it sticks so thick and they start coughing like the kids that were sitting right in front of me start coughing i was like are you guys okay and then i didn't think of it at first and i said i think it's my perfume that's making them cough lizzie didn't cough because she's used to the smell the teacher didn't cough because she's a, a woman, an older woman. And some of the kids that were sitting farther back, because they all sat on the on the carpet, the kids that were sitting farther back didn't cough. It was just the two kids, three kids that were coughing. And then when I got up to put my coat on and stuff, I guess it, the whiff went all over the place. And then they smelt it and they just start coughing. I was like, oh my God, I feel so bad. But it's kind of hot in that school. But they were all so sweet. They stayed still, they listened, they answered questions, they knew what it was about, the story was about. I'm like, that's what I'm talking about. At first, I was kind of nervous. I was like, can, 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 I, can I do what I do? Can, can I be Kimberly? You know, like my mom calls me Kimberly. Can I be Kimberly? Like the real Kimberly? Or do I have to be Kimberly? You know? So I was nervous to talk to a bunch of six-year-olds. But when I got it, I felt comfortable. I was popping. There was this boy's like, I know you. My mommy watches your videos. I'm like, oh, he's so cute. He's so cute. And so um, he knew about us from last year. Someone else remembered too. They said, I watched your channel last year because we saw it in class when you guys were making slime. I was like, yeah, I gave the I gave the um, our that video to the teacher so she could watch it. And um, so they remembered us. It was funny. Lizzie was just she was just she was so excited. <laughs> <laughs> holding all onto my arm and everything. I told my sister, I said, she's gonna hang on to me like a monkey in the trees. I'm gonna be the tree, she's gonna be the monkey. She just gonna cling. <laughs> and she did, but she did really good. I thought she wasn't gonna let me read. I thought she was just gonna keep like touching and bothering me, but she didn't, she did really good. They put the microphone on me. Lizzie said, I'm gonna put the microphone on you because it hangs on your neck. They put the microphone on me so I could talk and it and, and it was like surround sounds and surround sound. I had, I had my book, you know what I'm saying? I felt, I felt legit. I read Eddie's book that we got from a subscriber. This, oh wow, this is a little bright. You guys can't see that. Hold on, show it to you real quick. The police came up in here. This school is like Fort Knox to get inside. It wasn't like that last year. But last year, when I would come here, you just press a button and they unlock the door. Now, you gotta go through like three doors. They take your, your driver's license in and make sure you ain't no criminal you know what i'm saying like, <laughs> let me see this is too bright can you guys see it oh hold on let me bring it down there we go it's birthday surprise we got it from a subscriber we have a bunch of books 
but um this was a nice big book that they can see from sitting down on on the rug and it didn't have too many words in it like i kept looking all over the house for what book to bring because I, I wanted to keep their attention i didn't want the book too too long I didn't want the book too boring i wanted the book to be something i could change my voice on. So i changed my voice a little bit i didn't do too much silliness though but um what'd you call it but this was the best one when i looked at it i said eddie let me look at your book and he showed me in the book i said we're gonna rock with this this is the birthday. Oh, my room's dark again. This is the birthday surprise. And we got this from a subscriber. Can't remember your name, but you'll know who you are. Thank you very much. Oh, now I gotta go to the, um, I gotta go to the library and return the books that we took out a while ago. But yeah, see you guys on the flip side. We got the whole family, y'all. The whole family in the cut. We're on our way to Costco. Hey y'all, and your girl changed her clothes. I'm feeling like myself again. Keep going, Kubi, because he want to be on camera. This boy stopped and almost tripped me on the floor. But I feel like Kimberly again. First I was Kimberly, now I'm Kimberly. Boom! Meow. Oh. There you go. Hey, say hi, hi girlfriend. Guys. There you go. Oh, look at Christine. Look at it, look, look, look at her hat. Her hat is fine. Get it right, get it right, get it right. Look at her hat. Get your hat right. This is a wig, y'all. Look at that. You can't tell her nothing. Violet. That wig look good. Violet. Yes, that wig look good. Look at that. Oh, look at that. That is, that's, look at that. That's a luxury. Because I like these cups, these glasses better than the little shot glasses. Look at this. Look at them glasses. Look at them. Look at that. Y'all buying it for the cups. You don't even know if that junk tastes good. But she yeah, said for a dessert collection. No, Who for y'all crazy? No, exactly. <laughs> she said it is good. It's the Italian dessert collection. Uh, I just want the champagne glasses. Can we go like for Oh, well, they won't be tonight. It'll be for Thanksgiving. Oh, that smile dropped quick. Look, look in the back. Nana bite it. Boom, social worker. Mommy, where should we go? This is the city bus that can take you anywhere. I don't know. Where would you like to go? Oh, he want to go to Red Robin. Oh, we're going to put this down here. What is that called? Brisk. It's iced tea. Hold on, my mama moving. There we go. Yeah, this might this might be, the other store might be cheaper. That's open. Because you know the paper towels that we got on the roll right now? I got that from the dollar store. Oh. <laughs> she wanted to be like a bath towel. <laughs> Her bounty. <laughs> $20 bounty. How <laughs> you feeling? <laughs> Boom, fine. $22 toilet tissue is the one you want? No. It used way. to be $32 in the thing. Yes, yeah, 36 rolls. I said the price. $22. No, you know Christine. <laughs> she <laughs> look at her, look at her. Wow. Why are you saying that? <laughs> <laughs> I, <meow. laughs> look at that. I ain't never said. Are they plus size? Yeah, look at the hips. Look at the legs. Get it? That's what I'm rocking with. They're plus size. Good job. Just, just those two. Oh, okay. yeah. Just to, Okay, so why the flavors had to be this plus is Darby size? Darby and Teresa. I don't know who y'all call, but that's Teresa. She probably changed her name, but that's just Teresa. But why they had to make it like the black girl is thick and the. Racially ambiguous one is thick. But hey, I'm here for it if we we part of the club. Is that their suitcases? Yeah, because they're going oh. on a road trip. This oh, they got more over this, there. This all comes no, it's the same thing. This all comes together. No, another another suitcase. Oh yeah, because they're on a road trip. This is a good deal. How much is this? $42.99. Right. This will only be like 30. How you feeling? That's good. Bargain. Oh, right. I'm here for Christmas shopping. Yes. That's what that woman does, that video, marriage and motherhood. She goes. Shopping. I did that last year or the year before we came here. It was magical. Oh, Eddie said he wants these. Oh, yeah. Ooh, wow. Uh oh. Ooh, teachers. Oh, Eddie, I want to show you something. I want to show you. Okay, come closer. Oh, no, no, no. <laughs> no, Eddie and his mukbang. No. no. You see the crab legs? This is perfect. Look at them. Crab. There you go, Kubi Scooby. And crab. Yeah. Look how you're looking. He's excited. Eddie, He's been wanting to do a mukbang oh, so long, y'all. A seafood boil. Okay, go closer. So we, I'm going to show you the, the crab eyes. 
You see them? Now we at another grocery store. Guys, guess what we gonna do? Yeah, he is so excited. Yeah, we can do dinner, we can do everything. Second, yep. second, 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 second. <laughs> Peace out. Peace yeah. out. This year is about to say them something, not peace out. Okay. Guys, Good night. do you know that today we got something from Yeah, I don't know what he talking about. I don't I, I, know what we ate. Oh, you talking about our dinner? You just and running back and forth. And <laughs> it stinks in here. I need spray. Okay, I can spray. She, she said it stinks in here. They're using their crazy imagination. Okay, I like your imagination. You you're pretending that's that's um air freshener, but guess who you're using as the air freshener? A stanky <laughs> grouch from <laughs> Sesame Street. So you spraying stank. Because on Sesame Street, he smells bad because he lives in the garbage. Oh, real. <laughs> nice imagination. This our stop. Oh, that's the stop. Okay, okay. She, he said that's the stop to turn it off. But y'all say good night. No, Wait, well, this is the top. That's the top. The top. Gotcha, gotcha. But y'all need to say good night because mama tired. Good night. Peace out. Peace out I told you not to do no peace stories, Eddie. You said you just wanted to say peace out to the friends. Guys. He making stories, y'all. Okay, go ahead. Guys. Come on, give him guys. a give him a story. See, oh, he guys in y'all. No, we're not doing. That's why I'm not going in the room with y'all because you you trap me in there. You throw your body on the beds. Oh, guys, do you? No. Then he go running back oh, and forth. You yeah. guys. Say, say peace out. We love you peace and we'll out. see you in the next vlog. Peace out. We love you. We'll see you in the next vlog. Say bye, Kubi. You'll talk to him in the next vlog tomorrow. Just say bye. Okay? Oh, in the next one, can we record us playing the Guess Who game? Well, we'll try. If y'all let no, me go today. Not that, not that, not that. <laughs> you talking about Simon? They saw you in Simon. We love you guys and we will see you in the next hey, vlog. Look at one. him. He won't let me go. Okay, <laughs> see you in the next vlog. Peace out. Yeah, round.